Hey guys, welcome to Dart University, a great place to pick up some tech and for us to answer a lot of your questions. Now, one of the big features in a Dart block that you're gonna get for free is priority main oil feeding. Now, a lot of you guys aren't really familiar with what that is, so let's walk through it. Now, in any engine, you're gonna have a pump going to a filter, and from that filter, you're typically gonna feed somewhere up the block to a gallery. Now, that's a drilling that goes all the way through, right, and then can feed the entire engine all the different circuits are going to come off that main oil gallery. Well, you've got valve train, you've got crank, you've got rods. The most important one of those is your crank and rods. You need to make sure it has plenty of flow and volume. Now that flow is going to help cool the bearings. It's going to make sure you have a thicker oil film. Make sure you've got the durability that you need. Well, an OE block typically might kind of blend some of these circuits together because it's cheaper and it's easier, right? So upstairs, you've got your tappets, you know, your lifters, you've got your camshaft. And a lot of times that gallery is sitting in a convenient spot to feed all those first and then feed the crank. Well, again, we talked about the importance of feeding that crank first. So Dart goes through the extra trouble of separating the main oil gallery and feeding your crankshaft first. Crank's going to feed the rods. Then we can start feeding the secondary needs like your cam and your valve train. Right? So traditionally, to make up for an OE style block, we used a high volume pump and we would flood the engine, right? It got plenty of oil downstairs, but now you got too much upstairs. It's collecting up in your rocker covers in the valley. It's not getting back down to the pan. It's wasted energy on the pump, which is horsepower and fuel. So with a dart block, you can run a standard oil pump, not have to worry about restrictors going upstairs, makes it nice and easy. Now, if you do wanna run a restrictor in something like a a non-hydraulic camshaft, so it's solid or roller, right, and you need even less oil, they do have provisions in most of their blocks, especially on the upper end ones, to add a restrictor feature. So if, for instance, in this case, right, you're feeding your mains and there's a crossover somewhere, whether it's the front, rear, or in the middle, that's gonna provide oil to your valve train, you can add a restrictor with a small orifice in it, right, and block that off and control the oil upstairs as well for that ultimate, right, and balancing the system. Now that oil restrictor size, again, that's going to be on the builder or the owner because it's going to change, right? Your engine, your clearances, your viscosity of oil, but those are small details that most of us can ignore. Just pick up a dart block, a standard size pump, and you're ready to go.